All right, in two nights, future of everything. You know how they tell you not to look straight at the sun? Well, a team of scientists are figuring out new and amazing ways to stare straight into that big ball of fire. We are now seeing some new images of the sun's outer layer that are clearer than ever. The corona that's been so frustratingly hard to see in the past that usually most of our studying comes during a total eclipse. Well, now, using a telescope here in California, the researchers have a system to produce uh, images while getting rid of the blur caused by the Earth's atmosphere, and that is opening up ways to look at the extreme temperatures, the towering eruptions on the sun's corona. In other words, very, very hot stuff. Let's bring in Philip uh, Goody, one of the le lead scientists and professor at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Professor, thanks for being with us. Like, in the simplest terms possible here, what are we seeing, and, and how did you guys achieve this? Well, it took a number of years, and so um, the, the issue of adaptive optics has been around for a long time because, you know, stars twinkle, and they twinkle because the Earth's atmosphere is turbulent, and the, uh, you need to correct for changes that are t happening hundreds of times a second. And... 25 years ago, the problem was solved for the surface of the sun, but we've solved the problem for off surface of the sun into the uh, corona. The problem that you need is some point of reference, and you have this ethereal corona, which just nothing wants to stay still, and there's not much light there. But finally, after years of this and that back and forth we were able to solve the problem and lo and behold we got these images that um we can't understand all of them but they are simply amazing to us and they're beautiful we're really and pleased with this this work. yeah it's incredible to look at and i don't want to take this into a dark place with such a bright uh, subject here but coronal mass ejections they are something that kind of keeps me up at night uh god forbid we like have a harrington event where you have a big uh, huge eruption uh, on the surface of the sun and it knocks out like our grid here on earth is is this helping you guys understand or possibly prepare uh us for that kind of event Well, we don't understand the driving origin. And even on the small scale where things start, this is revealing things that we didn't know. We didn't, and it's going to take some time to explain them. But yes, you worry about Carrington events, like in 1859 when telegraphs ran on their own in, in the <laughs> UK and in the US, or in 1989 when... Um, the Northeast was blacked out because of a, a similar kind of event in, in Quebec. So it's something to worry about. And if you're Elon Musk and you want to go to Mars, you have to worry about one of these things occurring while you're on the path. Or how do you make a base to live on the moon? How do you make places to live on Mars? You need to worry about space weather. We're mostly protected by our atmosphere, but not mm -hmm. fully and and now you guys got that atmosphere at least out of the way for the pictures and we can just stare at this mesmerizing dance of flames and and extract science uh, uh, professor thank you so much for joining us and, and sharing with us uh this advancement thanks so much thanks for watching stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the nbc news app or follow us on social media